Hello there. Quick question for you. How many sovereigns are too many sovereigns? And you could probably argue one is too many. You could probably make a very good argument for that one. But how does eight suit you? Because that is how many sovereign citizen candidates are running at the moment that we know of in the far north district council for this year's local body elections. Now, I've already mentioned one candidate in New Plymouth, Caro McKee, who falls into that sovereign citizen sort of umbrella. At their most extreme, the FBI considers them to be a terrorist organisation of note, but I don't think we're dealing with that particular extremism here. However, the Oklahoma City bomber was actually a sovereign citizen believer. So was Wesley Snipes when he tried to get out of tax evasion, because why would you pay taxes to a government that really a citizen of because they have sold your rights. And this is where it gets a little crazy. The sovereign citizen movement at its very core believes that the government is either or has sold your rights to an organization, a corporation, and it's all about making profit. Things like the United Nations agenda is all about moving that forward. So you as a sovereign citizen have every right to use the magic words that get you out of trouble. So you can say things like, I do not consent to this parking ticket. And we have seen cases in this country where people have tried to get out and around laws because they are sovereign citizens, so do not give you the right to do blah, blah, blah. But it's all not going to work because that's not how laws work. So Far North District Council actually has an organised group of sovereign citizens. Like this guy here, Josh, who is running for the mayoralty and the Tihiku Ward. Now, Josh here is a local business owner. He made the front page of the Northern Advocate because of him running. Um good for him, I guess. There's also Paul McLaren here who's running in Tahiku, Garth Holder for Islands Whangaroa, Rob Eady also for Islands Whangaroa, Pierre Ferdinand also for Islands Whangaroa, Alicia Riley for Kaikohi Hokianga, uh, who is also known as Zealandia Angel, Zealandia being yet another racist organisation. Dear old Rosemary Rogers, who's standing for the Pahia Community Board. But she's not the only one that um, does seem a little bit inconsistent here. See, one of their policies that they actually state on their sovereign website that they've got is the abolition of any kind of segregation, which means getting rid of Māori seats altogether and any other kind of segregation, you know, like vaccine passes, which aren't a thing anymore. However, they're still running somebody within one of the Māori seats that are in their ward. So they'll do everything they can to get in power and then abolish the seat? That doesn't seem to make any sense to me. And of course there's the fact that councils pay for things through a tax revenue called rates. And if they're against tax revenue and paying rates to a corporation, how are they going to do their job?